Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is my new Raspberry Pi development setup uh, with this uh, Motorola Bionic Lap Deck that I just recently picked up. But right now, what we need to do is we need to set up this Raspberry Pi to be a uh, be an SDR receiver for our Project Tiros. This channel is made possible in part by Morning Fame, smarter analytics to simplify YouTube growth. Use the link on your screen right now to get your first month free. And by TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. Use the affiliate link on your screen to sign up today. So the first thing we need to do to set up our Raspberry Pi SDR module is to install the, uh, the USB drivers for the actual uh, SDR dongle that we're going to use. So to do that, we're going to go to sudo apt-get install libusb 1.0. And since uh, the software for it will also be uh, written in C, we're going to need CMake. So sudo apt get install CMake compile our software. Okay, that's done. Now we've got to make sure that the kernel. Linux kernel doesn't actually uh, activate any of the any drivers or modules that would uh, that would interfere with our our SDR. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna create a file sort of nano nano nano. Okay, so in it we're going to blacklist the DVB underscore USB underscore RTL28XX as well as RTL2832 and black list RTL2830. All right, now we need to install the software for our SDR. So we're going to get clone HTTP get um, dot com slash K E E N R D slash R T E L slash S D R dot get. Of course, it helps if I have git actually installed. So, sudo apt get install git. Okay, so we have install git, and let's try that again. Okay, cloned. So then we're going to cd into this rtlsdr directory, and then make directory called build, and then cd into build. And then we're going to run cmake dot slash den deinstall that the inst rules. C compilers run. Fantastic. Now we just run make. This will make our install file. Fancy. sudo make. Big to home sudo copy dot slash rtl sdr slash rtl sdr dot rules rules two slash etc slash udel slash rules dot d that's done, so <laughs> reboot. Okay, now 
what we're going to do is we are listening for an audio signal that is transmitted from the satellite. We're going to take that audio signal and we're going to have to pipe it uh, into our processing software, our processing application. So to do that, we're going to use an application called SOX, uh, SOX Audio Toolkit. So we're just going to sudo apt get install SOX that now we need something that will be able to schedule our cron jobs so sudo apt get install apt this is the at scheduler it's really all just stringing a bunch of applications together which is pretty much everything right now we actually need a piece of software called predict and what that does is it keeps track of the movements of all these different satellites and lets you know when they're going to be overhead so we'll need to know that so that we'll be able to start our recordings etc 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 sudo apt get install install predict ict okay finally what we need is the actual application that's going to turn that audio data into a uh, into an image, and that is a piece of software called Wix to Image or Weather to Image, uh, WX to IMG. And so, what we need to do the problem with that is that it's actually not hosted at its the original place that it was anymore. So we actually have to find it in a different location. So. That, download that and then sudo dpackage i x2 x2 uh a r m h f hyphen two dot one dot one one dot two beta dot dev okay now that everything is installed the next thing we need to do is to plug in our SDR and just make sure that the Raspberry Pi can see it. That's plugged in there. And we'll just run sudo rtl underscore test. There it is. Lost a few bytes, but it is showing no other messages. Thus, it is working and we are good to go next thing we need to do is predict we just set up our ground station here uh, station call sign two three bravo station latitude now i'm getting the latitude and longitude from google maps uh, that's just as easy a place to get it okay so station latitude is at three three dash eight seven Eight seven zero three two seven degrees north, and then this is in degrees west. So west is positive in this because east is least and west is best. Um, that would be one one seven nine one six nine eight one degrees west, and then station altitude have meters above sea level 10 ish we're not that high up we're not quite into the hills yet so i'm just gonna say 10 it's fine whatever all right we've done that now and then we need to run Ooh, that's interesting so looks like we're missing some libraries so sudo apt get install this is the libxft uh, library, I think the fantastic done. Okay, so let's try this again. Fancy. All right, and we have to agree to our terms. Yes, fantastic. Now, last thing we got to do for our setup, just for setup, 
is we need to make a file that tells uh, Wix to image where our uh, where we're located, where our ground station is. Uh, so I'm going to do another sudo nano dot slash x to img rc latitude to 33870220 this one uses the same notation that google uses where everything is where west is negative and then altitude a -L -T -I -T -D. altitude is um, okay so that is the basic setup there we gotta look over a couple of scripts here to get this thing working the way we want it to work uh, but we will take a look at that in just a minute so the last thing we gotta do is put together a few uh, scripts to really just automate the processes of uh, finding out when the satellites are flying overhead turning on the recording and then setting that recording to process into an image. Uh, so we have a few scripts that'll do that for us. The first one is this schedule all script and all this is doing, it's downloading the satellite information from the predict software uh, as far as the timing of the passes. And it's just uh, setting that uh, to, uh, to schedule those particular uh, recordings. Then we have the schedule satellite, which what this is doing is going to take each individual satellite pass, determine if it is an elevation of at least 20 degrees, because at 20, at 20 degrees, anything less than that, you're really not going to get a good signal and you're not going to get a good image out of that. So it's, it's not even worth doing. Uh, so we're going to take that, uh, anything that's above 20 degrees, and then we're going to actually uh, create a schedule around that so that we know when to start and when to end the recording so for the time that the satellite is going to be overhead. And then the last one that we need to look at is this is a receive and process satellite. Uh, so what this is doing is it's actually taking each uh, of the satellites, the relevant metadata for each of those satellites and then processing the wave file that uh, was recorded and then, and then running that through weather to image, processing that into an image file with a particular file name based on the satellite and what time it came through. So those are our scripts. The, um, the only other thing we need to do is set up our, um, we need to set up the actual um, screen and all of that within the um, within the case put it all together and we will have our little system ready to go so that's how we set up a uh, raspberry pi for sdr reception for a satellite receiver over here we have our social media subscribe button hit that over here you can watch the rest of the playlist and see how the whole thing comes together and then down here is the little newsletter comes out about once a month lets you know everything that's going on and that's all i've got today until next time tally ho y'all